वेलकम अगेन टू माई चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रोप्रो फ्रेंड्स टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू डिस इन्फेक्ट अवर मीडिया इन टू द हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम यू कैन सी दिस दिस इज अ माई वर्टिकल टावर ग्रोइंग सिस्टम इन विच वी हैव कैप द मल्टीपल बेड्स विद द मीडिया एज अ कोकोपिट द मीडिया मे बी डिफरेंट बट हियर वी हैव यूज द कोकोपिट नाउ इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट to disinfect and clean this media before taking the new season crop because if by chance some disease is spread into our last season crop then the spore of that disease may retain into this cocopit and upon the plantation of the new season crop it will act on it and may fail our total crop the other reason is in this cocopit it is very easy to develop the other microbial life and once the microbial life starts it start decaying or the composting of this cocopit and that may impact our hydroponic formula and disturb the formula and that will again impact on the our overall crop yield into this our hydroponic system so because of this we need to clean and disinfect this system after each crop now today i will explain you in detail how you can clean and disinfect the system with couple of very simple method so to know everything in detail please stay connected to the video till the end let's start this video so friends after completing the previous season and before starting the new season when our beds are empty we must do the cleaning work for cleaning this bed we must remove all the traces of the old crop from this once we remove this all this top portion of the plant from this then we need to uh, shuffle this cocopit and take out any of the roots remaining from the last season from the cocopit so we are just cultivating it with the hand just moving around and taking any of these roots and taking it out so likewise we need to clean all the beds so that all the beds are free of any of the plant remains including the roots once we do this thing we can again level this cocopit bed and start disinfection now for disinfection of this cocopit we can apply two to three methods in one of the most simplest and cheapest method is we can take out this cocopit from this bed and spread it on the ground in the month of may in the month of may the solar radiation is very high and with this radiation all the cocopit will get dry up and all the infection spore like fungus spore or any the microbial life will get die from that we need to turn it every third or fourth day so that it will the sunlight apply on the equally on the all the layers so this is the method which we can apply of free of cost but it includes a lot of labor all second method when you have a small quantity then you can apply that then take this cocopit wet it and boil it when you boil it for a half an hour above 70 degree temperature then this will also disinfect this cocopit totally so but boiling takes lot of labor and it involves some cost also now another two method which are chemical but we can use that for cleaning this or disinfecting this cocopit so the most simple method what i found is once we clean this bed we should water this bed thoroughly and wash it after washing we can apply hydrogen peroxide to this beds now we can apply hydrogen peroxide every liter of water 2 ml we need to add the hydrogen peroxide around 50% strength and then apply to this beds so that the it will drain from the bottom and that is how we can ensure that the hydrogen peroxide reaches to the all the cocopit and we let it remain for the 24 hours after that we can rinse it and use this bed for the sowing in one more method we can apply that potassium permanganate to this potassium permanganate also will disinfect from any of the bacteria or fungus attack to this cocopit the application method will be same 
as the hydrogen peroxide. We simply need to make a 1% solution of potassium permanganate and apply to this bed. And keep this bed 24 to 48 hours in that condition. And after that, we can rinse it with the plain water so that any traces of the permanganate will remove and we can use this bed for the sewing. So these are the method we can use for cleaning our media and disinfect our media. So how do you like this method of cleaning and disinfection of this cocoa pit? Write me back into the comment box. And if you find it helpful, then give me the thumb. And you also start preparing your media beds for the next season of the monsoon like this. Happy growing!